Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rebecca. This is my channel, Rebecca Reacts. This is a reaction channel. If that sounds like the sort of content you might enjoy, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. It's the best way to support me and my channel. The link is obviously just down there, that big red button that says subscribe. And yeah, today's video is called 11 Surprising Facts About Kolkata. So this was requested, well actually someone requested me to react to 15 surprising facts about Kolkata, but I couldn't find that video. So I chose this one instead. I hope that's okay. If someone can find the link about 15 facts about Kolkata, put it in the description. And if you have any other videos that you want me to react to, please put them in the comments as well. But yeah, this is the video we're reacting to today. If you are new, hello, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, but let's get on with the video. In all of history, there have been cities, peoples, and cultures with notable past and stories. But today on FTD Facts, we are diving into a city that has a lot of beauty, history, and even changes. And today we are talking about the city and people of Calcutta. A city filled with a vast architecture located in West Bengal, India. Welcome to FTD Facts, everybody, where we teach the world about cultures, people, and places from all around the world. What's up, guys? My name's Dave Wobble, the man that's joining you on this journey to understanding more about Kolkata. But I can't really take all the credit alone because here on FTD Facts, we take a lot of recommendations from you guys. And it's because of users like Saray Sen, Kazi Kamal Nasir, Sushamita Paul, and man, people like Sergio Bada Malin <laughs> wouldn't even stop asking asking us to talk about this city. Now, as per usual, always got a question of the day, and I want to know from all of you guys out there in the real world, I want to know, what is your favorite South Asian animal? Me? The elephant. Come on. He's cute, be, right? He's big. He's still cute. You can be cute and big at the same time, but I want to know your favorite. Put it down there. Let's get started with the video. So, Kolkata. Well, firstly, let's talk about its population because, well, the people of Kolkata have helped make it become a mega city. As a matter of fact, it's listed as the seventh mega city in the entire world. And as of 2011, it has 4,496,694 people, with a mega city me. comprising of 185,000 square kilometers. And that means there's about 24,000 people per square kilometer. That's a wow. bad city. And because of that, it makes it the second largest city in India next to New Delhi which I have a feeling we'll do a video on that shortly too. <laughs> and speaking of population, with everyone there being a huge fan of football and cricket, the Salt Lake Stadium, which seats about 67,000 people. It was downsized in 2015, but at one point it fit 120,000 people, making it the wow. second largest stadium on the planet. God, I don't oh, want to know how much a hot dog costs there. <laughs> huge there and yes I'm talking about soccer if you're across the pond the Kolkata Football League is one of the oldest leagues on the planet and it is still even going today it all started back in 1898 but what most people don't know it wasn't the first league that was started in Kolkata it was actually the IFA Shield which began in 1893 which was started by the Royal Irish Rifles now of course back then places like Kolkata and in India they were all under the British rule We've talked about that so much in these videos. But because of that, at one point, it was the capital of India until about 1911. And at that point, the capital powers got shifted all the way over to New Delhi. And at that time, it was not only named Calcutta, being C-U-L-C-A-T-T-A, -T -T -A, but it was also an extremely important area of trade. And the name of the city didn't change until 2001. But during that time, really? it was one of the most beloved oh, wow. cities by the English Empire. And for that reason alone, the city had a lot of attention when it came to building its services and infrastructure. For example, the port in Calcutta, the Kidapur port, is the oldest port in all of India. And in the early 19th century, it was one of the most important trade routes in all of India. But because of the partition of West Bengal, it decreased in its use. But as of the beginning of the millennium, the traffic has consistently grown, creating a lot of new opportunities for people. Now, the thing I like about Calcutta is the people there are really down for knowledge and literature. And how do I know this? It's because the Calcutta Book Fair is the largest book fair in all of India. And by attendance, it is 
the most popular book fair in the entire world. Because wow. every year they get over 2 million people attending. But the great thing about the book fair is it's aimed more for the general public instead of distributors. Now this might be due to the fact that the National Library of India is located in Kolkata. This library is so beautiful sitting on its 30 acre land and it is also the oldest library in the country. That's now the Kolkata gorgeous. Public Library was established in 1836, but it didn't take long for the Imperial Library itself to be built, which was in 1891. Now one of the most fascinating things about Kolkata is although it has a great metro system and a taxi service, people still use rickshaws to get around. As a matter of fact, it is the only city in India that still uses them and I guess it's just because it's traditional. Now one thing that the people of Calcutta are really proud about is the botanical gardens. Because not only is it an amazing beautiful place to see, but it holds the world's largest bayan tree. This thing is big, having a circumference of over 330 meters. Whoa. And it is also the oldest bayan tree, being over 250 years old. But let's be real, although Calcutta is a very beautiful place with amazing architecture and people, it's also had its dark times. And this was especially during the Second World War where the Japanese conducted several bombing missions. And by 1943, not only did millions of people die from the attacks, but starvation from the Bengal famine. And only a few years later, in 1946, there was even demands to create a Muslim state within the city, which led to domestic violence killings of over 4,000 people. But although Calcutta has had its dark times, it's remained a very proud city. With people still being attached to the old name and its given history, and with that history comes knowledge and hope for future generations to learn about its city and the rest of the world. And with that knowledge comes a city that is very pro-education. Kolkata has over 130 universities and colleges, and for example, the University of Calcutta was established in 1857, being the first institution in Asia to be a Western-styled, multidisciplined university. And not only that, but in India today, it was rated the second best university in 2012, 2013, and 2014. So what can be said about Calcutta, besides the fact that it is a great city? And here on FTV Facts, we are proud to be learning more about great cities such as Calcutta. My name is Dave Waffle, guys, and it has been fun giving you guys all these facts and Thank learning you. about Calcutta. I kind of lost my words there, but whatever. Don't forget to let us know what videos you guys want to see in the near future. And to let you guys know, at the end of this video, there's going to be a link for our new video called The Speakeasy, which is a new series which we are trying to bring to FTV Facts. So we want your opinion on it. Go check it out. But as for Calcutta, it's a city that's had its ups and downs. A city that is filled with great people, proud people, who want the best for themselves and the close ones around them. From opportunities to peace and prosperity and entertainment, this is the city and story of Calcutta, which may no longer be the capital of the country, but is the capital to many people's hearts. Oh, that was so sweet. I think we've reacted to a couple of FTD facts videos about other things to do with India in the past, and I always find them quite easy to watch, very easy to listen to, very easy to learn from. Um, and this one was no different. So thank you to the people who suggested I react to this video. It had a couple of thumbs up um, when the person had commented. It had like a few thumbs up. So I thought, okay, a few people want me to learn a bit more about Kolkata. So yeah, this is very interesting. Um, I didn't know any of these things before, so that's really nice to learn something new. Let me know, did you learn something new as well? I was quite surprised about hearing how the name changed in 2001 nearly 20 years ago but I thought that happened like many years ago <laughs> um so that was something different that I didn't know I also found interesting that he said that the football stadium um used to hold a hundred and something thousand people but then they downsized why did they downsize if you know let me know in the comments um but yeah, I found that really interesting for some reason because I was like, why would they downsize if they can get more people in, which probably means more money. I don't know. I'm sure there's a proper reason for it. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> the library looks beautiful. Like the outside just looks so gorgeous. Like I would love to go and visit. Um, I love a good library, who doesn't? And I reacted to the West Bengal tourism video, which showed, um, 
a bookshop and people were commenting like oh yeah there's um like this massive book fair that happens in Calcutta and um so yeah they mentioned that in this video which was nice to learn about and thank you to you if you commented it in the other video that I reacted to recently um yeah this was just a really nice video to watch i learned a lot let me know if you learned something new in the comments um and thank you for watching thank you to my producer level patrons and if you want to become a patron yourself the link is always in the description below if you want to support me financially you don't have to honestly the best way to support me is just by hitting that subscribe button um it's the free way to support me but the option is there if you want to become a patron pledges start from one pound and go all the way up to ten pounds as a producer um so yeah it's all up to you also my social media links are linked in the description as well if you want to follow me on twitter and instagram as well but thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you have feel free to hit that subscribe button if you are new and i will see you very soon for a new video bye everyone <laughs>